Hi everyone, welcome to the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel Find Your Island webinar. I'm Recommends Editor-in-Chief Paloma Villaverde de Rico and we are glad all of you are here to learn more about this gorgeous area of Florida with its 190 miles of coastline and home to over 50 miles of naturally preserved beaches. The beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel provide perpetual sunshine, natural beauty, convenient accessibility, exceptional island living, and a history that stems all the way back to the Calusa Indians. It's also home to magnificent must-sees such as the Thomas Edison and Henry Ford Winter Estates and the Sanibel Historic Museum and Village. I'd like to introduce you to Jovina Huber, who will be discussing the history and natural beauty of the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel. She'll touch upon the destination's unique and desirable accommodations, and you'll learn how to determine the perfect island for your client. Jovina is a destination expert for the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel, and is a certified guest service professional by the American Hotel and Lodging Education Institute. Before I leave you, though, I'd like to remind you that at the end of the webinar, after we've answered all of your questions, one lucky attendee will win a three-day two-night stay at the Pink Shell Beach Resort and Marina. And don't forget, there'll be a Q&A, so please send your questions to us, and Jovina will be happy to answer them after the presentation. And I leave you with Jovina. Thank you, Paloma. Welcome to the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel, where you are likely to run out of time before running out of things to do. Here is an overview of today's agenda. The beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel is located on the west coast of Florida, directly on the Gulf of Mexico. We like to say the west coast is the best coast because, because of this location, we get those amazing sunsets over the Gulf of Mexico every night. We are conveniently located a two-hour drive from Tampa or Fort Lauderdale, two and a half hours from Miami, or three hours from Orlando. So you can see that your clients can easily travel to our area from other popular Florida destinations. The beach of the Fort Myers and Sanibel is made up of ten distinct areas. That's where the Finder Island comes in. Boca Grande sits on our northernmost border. This is a quaint upscale town, very remote, home to the historic Gasparilla Inn. More about the inn later. You can drive around the island, but preferred methods of transportation include bicycles and golf carts. Just south of Boca Grande is one of our more notable islands, Cayo Costa State Park. Only accessible by boat, fabulous for shelling, beach tent camping available for the adventurer. Pine Island sits inside our barrier islands, excellent for fishing. Pine Island is also home to the quaint little hamlets of Boquilla, St. James City, and Mat Lache, a fishing village in transition to an artist colony. Cape Coral and North Fort Myers. Cape Coral is home to the beautiful Western Cape Coral Resort Mar Marina. And North Fort Myers is noted for a Florida icon in roadside attractions not to be missed, the Shell Factory. Visitors have been purchasing their souvenirs there for over 75 years. In Fort Myers, you will find our historic downtown river district. Fort Myers is also home to the Edison and Ford Winter Estates, our most visited historical attraction. Two of the most famous inventors of American industry, Thomas Edison and Henry Ford, spent their winters in Fort Myers. The estates, which include both Edison and Ford's homes, also feature Edison's extensive gardens, as he used various plants from around the world for his experiments. His laboratory and a museum full of Edison's inventions are included in the tour. And the laboratory is just, it's fabulous, it's my favorite. Lehigh Acres sits to the east and is largely residential. Estero and Bonita Springs, beautiful beaches. Great shopping and home to the beautiful Hyatt Regency Coconut Point Resort and Spa. Fort Myers Beach is a friendly little beach town featuring a variety of accommodations, 
restaurants and shopping all along the beautiful beach. Visitors love to gather on the pier to watch the sunset nightly. At the southern end of the island, you will find Lover's Key State Park and the fascinating Mound House, which offers a tour of an actual Calusa Indian mound. There's a trolley available to take you from one end of the island to the other and to help you explore. Kayaking, parasailing, jet skiing, and boat rental are also available on the island. Sanibel and Captiva Islands, last but not least, world famous for shelling. The islands offer a truly far away from an old ambiance. No high rises, though there are plenty of accommodations on the islands, from full service resorts to condos and homes and quaint cottages. No buildings taller than the tallest palm tree. 26 miles of off-road bike paths, some of our best dining and boutique shopping in the country, and the gem of the islands, JN Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge. Nature takes center stage on the island. You will not see any chain hotels or restaurants on this island. No street lights. Perfect for stargazing at, at night. Okay, so a little about our airport. Southwest Florida International Airport. The airport code is RSW. RSW has one of the newest terminals in the area and is very easy to navigate. I often hear comments from visitors about how nice our airport is. Your vacation starts the minute you land. The airport provides several information stations staffed by our volunteers ready to answer questions and provide assistance to visitors. Adding to the convenience and ease of getting about the terminal, rental cars are located directly across the street from the terminal. There are no long shuttle rides to take to pick up a rental car. What makes us special? We are famous for our natural attractions, our parks and preserves, over 50 miles of white sand beaches, and abundant back bay waters waiting to be explored. What are the best things about Sanibel and neighboring Captiva, apart from the miles of gorgeous beaches and the relatively calm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, is it is just far enough off the beaten path that its appeal is mostly to adults and or families with young children. No out of control spring breakers here. One of the other greatest appeal is that if it is too late, I'm sorry, <laughs> that's a quote from a travel agent. Um, and she says, no out of control spring breakers here. One of the other great appeals is that if it is too late to find reasonable airfares to Southwest Florida, you can drive there in a day or two from most of the central mid and upper Midwest and eastern seaboard states. This is as close as you can come to a Caribbean experience without leaving the continental U.S. And that was a quote from one of your colleagues. World-class shelling. Sanibel Island is also known for world-class shelling, ranked number one in the U.S. and number four in the world as a shelling destination. We have over 400 species of shells that are native to our waters. Sanibel Island's unique situation at an east-west angle, as opposed to the typical north-south orientation found with most other islands on the coast of Florida, is perfect for capturing incoming shells. I recently received an email from another agent that stayed on Sanibel Island for the first time. Hi, Jovina. I just wanted to let you know we are back from our vacation to Sanibel. Wow is all I can say. I cannot believe I have never visited the area. I was missing out on so much. The West Wind Inn was awesome. We will definitely be back. While we were on the island, my husband even became sort of a celebrity. I have already raved about the hotel to my friends and family and will definitely be recommending the West Wind Inn and the area to everyone. What the agent is referring to is that her husband becoming a celebrity, he found a rare Junonia shell as well as two alphabet poems and their pictures and the shells were posted on a popular website from Sanibel called iloveshelling.com. A Sanibel Island resident walks the beach and takes pictures of visitors and their finds. It is a great site to send clients to who are avid shellers. We are also home to the Bailey Matthews Shell Museum. Before you start to roll your eyes and yawn, here is a quote from a recent review. This place surprised me. I was expecting a bunch of beautiful labeled shells from the region. What I got was a massive education on living animals, mollusks, gastropods, etc. 
that shells are home to, micro mollusks to deep sea mollusks, mollusks as food as shell are, it was easy to spend three to four hours here at the Shell Museum. The volunteer docent in the learning lab gave us a demo of some live animals from a live shell tank and was very informative. I now know more than most of the sex life of mollusks. I also highly recommend, recommend the two rotating short videos played in the small theater every half hour. Check out their website to start your education. These animals are misunderstood and more important to us than you think. Six short days away, we will celebrate the first annual National Seashell Day. Watch for us on Good Morning America. Here's a little more about um, National Seashell Day. It will be celebrated on June 20th, and it's going to be a celebration. Shell yeah. Um, tune in to Good Morning America. We'll, we'll be getting um, a few spots from between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. Uh, the best memories, just like shells, are found naturally. In Southwest Florida, you'll find the world's best shelling and easy access to it. Thanks to the geography of our island, thousands of unbroken shells from hundreds of colorful species roll onto our shores every day. Shells have a way of transforming into treasured memories when held in curious hands. So join us for the inaugural National Seashell Day on June 20th and surround you, you and your loved ones with beaches full of memories. Check out our Fort Myers Sanibel website to find deals on accommodations and attractions. We have lots of celebrations going on. We are all pretty excited about this and there will be an unveiling of a very special piece of shell art that many of us personally worked on. Fishing and water recreation. The Gulf of Mexico is also great for fishing. Boca Grande Pass earned the name the tarpon capital of the world, thanks to one of the best tarpon migration routes used by these beautiful fish. Our back bay waters are shallow and great for fishing flats. The bays are home to an abundant variety of fish. Your clients can also fish from the comfort of their beach chair as well as from one of our local piers. Or they can hire a fishing charter or rent their own boat. Palm Beach Post Field and Stream editors have named Pine Island among the 25 hottest American fishing destinations. This is a gorgeous shot of sailboats on San Carlos Bay on Fort Myers Beach. You can get some of the best shrimp in the world right here in the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel. We are famous for our pink gold shrimp, which can be found in many of our great restaurants. All of those bass bays are also great for paddling, kayak, canoe, and even stand-up paddle boards. The beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel has over 190 miles of canoe and kayak trails named after the Calusa Native Americans, the first residents of the area. The Calusa Blue Way encompasses three distinct regions. The first portion of the trail meanders through Estero Bay, Fort Myers Beach, and Lover's Key State Park, while the second segment centers on Pine Island Sound and along Sanibel and North Capeo Costa State Park, and includes Mat Lache Pass. The third phase includes the Caloosahatchee River and tributaries, where you travel inland away from the coast to explore. The Blue Way has its own website that lists guides, outfitters, and access points throughout the county. The trail is behind the Barrier Island in sheltered, shallow waters so this is a soft adventure, perfect for couples and families, or for the first time kayaker. You can go to ColusaBlueWay.com for detailed information, maps, and itineraries. There are tools available on the site to plan a multi-day kayak adventure, staying in a different accommodation each night. The trails have numbered markers along the way, and maps can be downloaded, and we can also provide them by mail. Seeing our area via kayak is an authentic natural experience. If you're, if you're lucky, you may be able to see dolphin and manatee along the way. To show how wonderful it is, uh, our waters for um, kayaking and, and water sports, in mid-May we hosted the top-notch paddling of fishing journalists who were outfitted in Hobie kayaks to explore our destination's abundant fishing in Pine Island Sound. Hobie actually selected our area to debut their newest watercraft. Nature Parks and Preserves. 
In addition to Ding Darling Refuge, which we mentioned is on Sanibel Island, there are many, many parks and preserves to explore. One of my favorites is CREW, which stands for Corkscrew Regional Ecosystem Watersheds. CREW has an awesome website. Have your clients check it out before their visit, or you can visit the site and print out some of the calendar showing the schedule for guided hikes or events taking place during their visits. This is another way to explore our destination away from the beach. Crew offers tours including butterfly and wildflower walks and even full moon walks. There are miles of hiking and trails. Another popular park with visitors and natives alike is Manatee Park. In the winter months, the manatee travel inland to warmer waters. Manatee Park is a non-captive refuge, therefore the manatees are free to come and go as they please. Visitors go to Manatee Park to learn about these gentle giants. The park is over overflowing with these sea cows and their offspring. There are also kayak rentals at the park where you can paddle by and view them eating the sea grasses. Lots of wildlife. The inland parks are a great place to view southwest Florida wildlife. You can also view wildlife via boat. There are many day cruises available. Here are some examples. There's a uh, dolphin, watch some wildlife adventure cruise, sunset cruises, beach and shelling cruises, out island cruises. On these cruises you often see pods of Atlantic bottlenose dolphin and various birds like the great blue heron, osprey, and bald eagles. Our Lonely Travel Planet Guide has a section list listing guided tours and excursions. Guided day tours to the Everglades are also available. Those tours include hikes, airboat rides, and lunch, including alligator tail. For your clients looking for a little, looking for a little art and culture to experience, we have that too. Galleries are plentiful in historic and picturesque downtown Fort Myers. As mentioned, every first Friday year-round, we host Art Walk. Pictured here is the Sydney and Vern Davis. In the bottom photo, you can see the these cylinders. At night, the two large bronze cylinders called the Caloosahatchee Manuscripts bathe the art center's front page steps and sidewalk in a phosphorus alphabet soup. One depicts the names of plants in Latin that Edison studied while looking for a domestic rubber source, and the eastern drum pays homage to the Caloosa Indian history and language. Matt Lachey, in the upper photo left, is a fishing village in transition to an artist colony featuring historic fishing shanties that have been transformed into fun and funky art galleries. This is a shopper's delight. You will find many original pieces. You can even take a cruise from downtown Fort Myers to Pine Island. In addition to our art districts, we also have performing arts at the Broadway Palm Dinner Theater, Barbara B. Mann Performing Arts Hall, and the nationally acclaimed Florida Rec Theater, downtown Fort Myers. Diverse history. In addition to the botanical gardens at the Edison and Ford Windsor Estates, there are nine historic buildings, including Edison's Botanic Research Laboratory and the Edison Ford Museum, which contains an impressive collection of inventions. Uh, Thomas Edison actually has 1,093 patents. That's amazing. Artifacts and special art galleries. One of Thomas Edison's famous quotes was, there is only one Fort Myers, and someday 90 million people are going to find out. And they sure are. There is a historic walking tour of the River District in downtown Fort Myers, and there are several Calusa Indian shell mounds around the county to explore, including the Mound House and Mound Key located in the back bay on Fort Myers Beach, as well as the Calusa Heritage Trail on Pine Island. This was um, one of the sites where the Calusa Indians lived, and there's, um, we're finding a lot of history there. Things that they planted, things that they ate, they dug canals. It's really, really interesting. You'll have to stop by there if you visit. Dining in paradise. Seafood, seafood, seafood. There are literally hundreds of restaurants to choose from. And fresh seafood it is. Fort Myers has a shrimp fleet on the San Carlos Island, which offloads more Florida pink shrimp than anywhere else in Florida. 
Connoisseurs consider this indigenous Gulf of Mexico species among the sweetest in the United States. On Sanibel, Captiva, and Fort Myers Beach, you will not see all of the typical chain restaurants. Most are individually owned, which makes for a unique dining experience every time. We definitely have some unique shopping experience in addition to the small art galleries. We also have fabulous boutiques along his street, historic First Street in the River District, downtown Fort Myers, as well as on Sanibel Island, providing a unique shopping experience. The beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel also has two outlet malls, Miramar Outlets, a beautiful mall located in Estero. Miramar boasts over 100 shops, including Saxaw Fifth, Nordstrom's, and Bloomingdale's, along with dozens of restaurants some with outdoor seating by a lovely lake. For guests staying on Sanibel, Sanibel Outlets is very conveniently located just before the bridge to Sanibel. We are lucky enough, to, lucky enough to have three traditional malls, one of which includes a Bass Pro Shop. And the sunsets. Night after night, spectacular sunsets. Natural, personal, inspiring, relaxing, and romantic. Perfect for honeymooners and destination weddings. My favorite place for the sunset would have to be a toss-up between docks on Bonita Beach or the Mucky Duck on Captiva Island. That's if I want to have dinner. I have another very favorite spot I will not mention because I want to keep that to myself. <laughs> oh, our Island Hopper Songwriter Festival. This year will be our third annual Island Hopper Songwriters Festival. September 23rd through October 2nd. A great time to visit, by the way. We invited songwriters from around the country to perform in intimate settings, sharing the backstories to their famous songs that you know and love. If you have clients who are music lovers, this festival would be a great way to share a unique musical event with our destination serving as the beautiful backstage. The last two years were spectacular, and this year it's just going to get better. Here's some of the talent. George Dukas and Ruthie Collins performing at a house party at one of Royal Shell's beautiful vacation homes on Captiva Island. George Dukas' name can be found behind the pen of some of country music's biggest hits, including Sarah Evans' number one, Real Fine Place to Start, Josh Thompson's Won't Be Lonely Long, the Eli Young Band's Always the Love Song, along with cuts by George Jones, Garth Brooks, the Dixie Chicks, and Trisha Yearwood, and many, many others. So we hold these um, little mini concerts in different vet venues. And here, award-winning songwriter Even Stevens performing on a Sunset Cruise with Captiva Cruises. Even songwriting career spans many years in stylistic borders from the multi-platinum international hit When You're in Love with a Beautiful Woman by Dr. Hook to the three-week number one pop hit, I Love a Rainy Night, by Eddie Rabbit. In addition, he has also accumulated an unprecedented 53 BMI awards and dozens of other country music awards. So you can see the talent we have is going to be fun. Why do we get all this good ta talent? Because they love the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel. It's a really good time. We have over 50 artists lined up for this year's festival. The first couple of days uh, will be on Captiva Island, and it moves to downtown River District and finishes up with a bang on Fort Myers Beach. Go to islandhopperfest.com to see the accommodation specials listed for this year's event. We will be adding more daily. World-class accommodations. We have talked about why your client should visit, now I will show you just a few of the many accommodations to choose from. The beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel has 12,000 hotel rooms and 11,000 vacation rental homes and condos to choose from. The Pink Shell. One lucky winner today will be staying at the Pink Shell. The Pink Shell is situated on a quarter mile of white sugary sand beach overlooking the Gulf of Mexico and the Barrier Islands of Southwest Florida. The 12-acre Pink Shell Beach Resort and Spa caters to 
families and groups seeking a memorable four-star resort experience. The property features 211 spacious condo accommodations ranging from deluxe golf front studios to one and two bedroom villas with stunning direct views of the Gulf of Mexico. All rooms include kitchens or kitchenettes and step out screen balconies. Guests will experience a broad range of facilities and amenities including the Aquagene Spa, a 6,000 square foot 12 treatment room state of the art full service spa, three restaurants and three heated pools one of which is a zero entry pool and has a waterfall in addition to a kids area great for toddlers to cool off in the, in the fountain features. And of course, you can cool off in the beautiful Gulf of Mexico. Kayak rental is also available. If you look at the bottom slide, you can see a park at the end of the island. I paddled over there with my grandson when we, and we found starfish in the water. And of course, you could always walk down to, uh, walk down the beach to the park. If you scroll through the path, you will see the cute little gulf of tortoise that make their park, that park their home. A new state-of-the-art full-service marina with docks, slips, boat rental, and fishing charters are also available. Also within walking distance from the pink shell is the famous Fort Myers Beach Pier, all of the little shops and restaurants. One of you will be the lucky winner of a three-day, two-night stay here, compliments of the pink shell. South Seas, South Seas, oh my, this resort offers a Caribbean ex island experience in a natural setting. A variety of room options are available from hotel rooms to condos or for multi-generational families or reuni reunions, check out the South Seas collection of homes of distinction. South Seas located on 330 acres on the tip of Captiva Island. The resort features several pools throughout the property with a lagoon pool overlooking the gulf, a kids pool area with water slide called H2O. They also offer an executive golf course along the beach, tennis courts, and two marinas, and much, much more. Great place for families, honeymoons, destination weddings. On the other end of the spectrum, we go from large resorts to small beach cottages. This uh, Gulf Beach Cottage is located on Sanibel Island. Just to show the diversity of accommodations you can choose from, those be beautiful resorts to a charming beach cottage. Peace and tranquility are yours tucked away at the end of a private lane and designed to meet your needs for the perfect Sanibel Island vacation awaits. Gulf Breeze's one, two, and three bedroom beachfront cottages. Sanibel Harbor Marriott Resort and Spa. This luxurious property overlooks Sanibel Island. Features luxurious rooms with scenic vistas of water and lush landscapes. Superior service, a 23 treatment room spa, six restaurants and lounges, lounges, some with outdoor seating overlooking the harbor. There is a 10,000 square foot fitness center and dinner brunch cruise on the Sanibel Princess. Centrally located in just minutes from Sanibel Island and Fort Myers Beach. For clients interested in hosting a wedding or business, Meeting in the Fort Myers area, the Sanibel Harbor Marriott boasts 13 intelligently designed event venues and a picturesque seaside location. The newly renovated Sanibel Harbor Marriott Resort and Spa offers 45,000 square feet of flexible, high-tech indoor and outdoor meeting space with 24 breakout rooms, all conveniently located on one level with ballrooms that open up to verandas overlooking some of the most scenic views on the Gulf, Gulf Coast. Our outdoor event space provides a lush backdrop for unique receptions and dinners. Oh, here's a spectacular one. Sea Oaks Luxury Estate on Captiva Island. This nine bedroom deluxe estate sleeps 30, offers a private dock and Gulf of Mexico Beach on the secluded Captiva Island. Kayaks, kayaks stand up paddle boards, fishing and boating, Geos is available for $3,500 a night with a five to seven night minimum and pays 
twenty percent travel agent commission. So in other words, do the math, that's a lot of commission and it's a beautiful property. Gasparilla Inn. First opened in January 1912. Today the inn consists of 137 rooms, 63 in the main inn, and 74 in the surrounding cottages. The Gasparilla Inn and Club continues to be known for its impeccable service and its unique history of old, its unique old Florida history feel. Given the remote surroundings of Boca Grande, the property has been visited over the years by very famous people such as J.P. Morgan, Henry Ford, and most recently, President George H.W. Bush and President George W. Bush and their families. They've been here more than once. I have had the privilege of touring the presidential suite. It's, it's sweet. If you remember earlier when we talked about Boca Grande, most folks get around in golf carts or on bicycles. This resort is special. How many resorts do you know that offer three USCA certified croquet lawns <laughs> for the enjoyment of their guests? I did not think people even played croquet anymore, but the inn holds an annual croquet tournament every March. Made me want to go out and play croquet. The inn, the inn is a testament to an elegance of another time with no need to change because its patrons have no desire for it to do so. Dining is truly among the, the best experience anywhere, including the presentation, quality, and service. We have such awesome, awesome resorts. The Hyatt Regency Coconut Resort and Spa. In addition to a variety of accommodations with spectacular views, the Hyatt is an upscale resort with a number of features, including the Stillwater Spa with 18 treatment rooms, a Watsu pool, and beauty salon. Hyatt also has their own beach, the Big Hickory Island Beach. Transportation to the beach is provided via, provided via a nature cruise. Out by the pool, they have a spacious sun deck, lushly landscaped. It includes three pools, a zero entry family pool with a 140 foot corkscrew slide, a lap pool, and a cold plunge water pool. They are currently adding a lazy river and another water slide for their guests. Our staff recently had to spend a grueling day there enjoying these amenities. It was very tough, but we loved it. Uh, my son actually lives five miles from the Hyatt, and he brought his wife and family there for Mother's Day this year. And I got to visit for a little R&R. It's just relaxing and luxury. They also offer an 18-hole Raymond Floyd design Raptor Bay golf course. Bicycle and kayak rentals are available as well as hammocks and a fire pit. And they also offer tennis. Sunstream Hotels and Resorts. Pictured here is Diamond Head Beach Resort. All one-bedroom re one units with a kitchen, each balcony offers a view of the Gulf. Very nice upscale indoor restaurant, great for watching the sunset. Also has a toes in sand restaurant on the beach, that's the one I like. Great venue for the Songwriters Festival. It's a very short walk to Fort Myers Beach Pier, shops, and restaurants. This has location, location, location. Diamond Head also has a spa. And one thing I enjoy, I enjoy about this resort is its proximity to the Gulf. You can open your sliding glass doors to the screened lanai and be lulled to sleep by the sound of the Gulf waves lapping at the sand. <laughs> Where, which I was, wish I was there now. Sunstream also owns two condominium resort properties, Point Estero and Gullwing. These are located a little further south on the island, closer to Lovers Key State Park. Two fabulous condominium beachfront resorts offering one, two, and three bedroom spacious condos. These are great for large family vacations or girlfriend getaways. Then there's the Western Cape Coral Resort in Marina Village. This one's located uh, in Cape Coral, built in 2012, 
the Western Cape Coral Resort and Marina Village still maintains that just open feel. It features traditional guest rooms and one, two, and three bedroom suites with private screened in decks. Several world-class dining experiences include a waterfront bar and bistro, 25,000 square feet of meeting and function space. Premium resort amenities include a lagoon-style outdoor pool and access to clay tennis courts, an amphitheater, and marina with water sports, cruises, and fishing. The Western Cape Coral Resort and Marina Village features a newly renovated Western Workout Fitness Studio where guests will have plenty of choices for cardio, strength, and stretching. The hotel also offers the Weston's Kids Club and a 4,000 square foot Heavenly Spa by Weston. Weston offers a complimentary water taxi to Fort Myers Beach. And the Weston also welcomes pets. The Outrigger Beach Resort. A full-service beachfront resort on the southern quieter end of Fort Myers Beach, offering our Adirondack chairs under palm trees in the sand. The Outrigger offers both standard and efficiency units. And as you see pictured, a great tiki bar on the beach with live entertainment most nights. The resort is only two miles from Lever's Key State Park, and they have a trolley stop right in front of the hotel to have easy access to travel up and down the island. That's something I forgot to mention about uh, Fort Myers Beach. They do have a trolley that runs um, all day up and down the island from the north end to the south end. So it's easy for your, your clients to get around if they don't have a, a rental car. Holiday and Beach Resort on Sanibel Island. We believe this is by far the nicest beachfront holiday in anywhere. It is the only chain resort on Sanibel Island. They have the most wonderful hammocks in the grassy area there before you go to the beach. Did you know that Sanibel has no street lights, no traffic lights, no chain restaurants? You will not see a Friday's or a CVS on every corner. You truly feel the far and away carefree experience when you get to Sanibel and Captiva Island. Tween Waters Inn on Captiva. The Tween Waters Inn motto is, shouldn't every day be this good? You can see by this photo why this resort is named Tween Waters. It is situated between the Gulf and the Back Bay. Here across 13 gorgeous tropical Gulf front acres, couples and families can enjoy 137 quality hotel and resort accommodations, including one, two, and three bedroom seaside cottages one and two bedroom suites, golf view and bay view studios, and guest rooms. Tween offers miles of Gulf of Mexico sugar sand beach, extraordinary shelling, and a fishing room, marina. You can also arrive by boat. They have an Olympic-sized pool, hot tub, and children's wading pool. Really, shouldn't every day be this good? The Wyndham Gardens, Fort Myers Beach. The Wyndham Garden is located on an extremely large part of the beach with lots of beach activities. This is an upbeat, always having fun type of resort. The host hotel for the annual sand sculpture contest, sand volleyball tournaments, etc. They always have something going on. Rooms are large and very clean, outstanding staff that is thoughtful and helpful. The on-site Pinchers restaurant is excellent with a large tiki bar restaurant in the courtyard. Noted for their excellent customer service, one recent comment from a guest was, the staff makes you feel like you're a guest in their home. Following is an example of the art from last year's sand sculpting competition. Every November we have a wonderful sand sculpting. Those are three separate, um, here is a sample of three different sculptures. Have your clients come join us on Fort Myers Beach for the 30th annual American Sand Sculpting Championship and Beach Festival. This year it will be held November 18th through 27th, and it will be a fun-filled event that will include world-class master sand sculptures, a state championship contest, and as well as an amateur contest, so you can give it a try yourself. Quick sand speed sculpting 
sand sculpting demonstrations and lessons, chainsaw art, oh, that's my favorite, sliding colors, a kid's activity area with bounce houses and slides. So you, you see this is a great event for everyone, um, 30 years strong. The event is scheduled for 10 days this year. For our groups and visitors, the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel offers an abundant activities for all ages and levels of experience. Groups and individuals can enjoy numerous eco experiences on their own and with area tours. One of my favorite tours is with Captiva Cruises. They will take you into the back bays of Pine Island Sound where you will have an intimate experience with bottlenose dolphins that usually frolic in the wake of the boat. On this cruise, you also have a bird's eye view of hundreds of wetland wildlife, like the rare white pelican that migrates from the north to our area in the winter months, just like their human snowbird counterparts. You also have the opportunity to visit some of our extraordinary islands only accessible by boats, such as Cabbage Key and the pristine Keo Costa State Park. As I mentioned earlier, you can uh, actually camp on Keo Costa using your own tent. If you have that client that wants to get away from it all and play Survivor, this, that's the island for them. Or you can just visit it for the day. You also have the opportunity for a day trip to Key West from the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel. The Key West Express is a popular attraction for our area with many visitors. <clears throat> they like to take the opportunity of a dual destination vacation. Key West Express offers round trip service to Key West daily. You can go and play for the day or you could stay multiple nights. Here's some of um, some of the information available for free for your clients, uh, organi organized by geographical locations. This guide includes every type of accommodation we have, including hotels, resorts, condos, villas, and homes, and cottages. You will also find helpful information on area attractions and beach listings. The guide also provides RV park and campground information. So this what this. Uh, version has accommodations. We also offer a second version of the guide available for you to provide to your clients with no accommodations listed. This version is an excellent sales tool for you to showcase our destination to clients without handing them booking information. It also makes a great value added for you. If you have clients that you have booked to the area, give one to every member of their party. They are free of charge from us. Uh, a few more brochures available on the area. We have uh, these three that give a nice overview of the destination along with 10 suggested activities unique to the destination. All of these guides and brochures are available free of charge and in whatever quantity you would like. And uh, wrapping it up, a big Thank you again to the Pink Shell for their generosity. Uh, the Pink Shell Resort and Marina located on the north end of Estero Island. The views from the rooms are stunning and the grounds are tropical and the visitors very happy to be there. Whomever the lucky winner will be, please contact me when you uh, make your arrangements to visit and I'll provide you with our VIP pass which will allow you and a guest complimentary admission into many of our wonderful attractions. And that's all I have for today. I guess we will open it up for questions. Yep, if anyone has any questions, please start sending them in. And also note that if your question is not answered, you will be contacted individually by email with a response. So we can start the question and answer um, process with this one question. Um, what, what was the Lee County Island uh, Jovina that provides the best shelling in the country? Uh, Sanibel is the best uh, island. Keo Costa is, is, is really good too. So Sanibel Island you can get to by land, but that is by far because of the way it's situated in the 
It's situated at an east-west angle, where most other barrier islands sit at a northwest angle. Um, because of how it's situated, it just scoops up all the shells. And we really are like the number two shelling island in, in the entire world. And I can't wait for National Seashell Day on June 20th. Oh, yeah, it's going to so, be fun. So, so Sanibel and uh, also if you wanted to take a side trip to Cayo Costa State Park. Okay. And what are the months that are most budget-friendly to travel to the beaches of Fort Myers and Sanibel? Most budget-friendly is if you come for the um, Island Hopper Songwriter Festival. Uh, September and October are the the the, mo the best months to visit uh, rate-wise. And all the uh, and the properties in Lee County pay travel agent commission, correct? Most of them do. Um, our guide has um, a series of icons following all of the properties in our visitor guide, and the first one is a an asterisk, and if the property uh, is followed by an asterisk, it denotes that that property pays travel agent commission. Okay. And um, and what's the it's the Thomas Edison and Ford Winter Estates, right? One of the most well-known attractions in the area? That, that is the most visited attraction, I would say, other than the beach. But the beach. <laughs> yes, that is our most visited attraction. It and is about truly, how, truly a gem. How many hours do you think it, it takes to do the tour nicely? I know you can go on your own, and it's just beautiful um, area. Yeah, it's, one, it's wonderful that you can go on your own. I think to take a leisurely um, tour, you could spend uh, anywhere from an, about an hour and a half. Okay. An hour and a half to two hours to, to tour, you know, the, the laboratory, both homes, the little uh, caretaker cottages. It, it's really a, a great tour. And then it's just five minutes from the historic downtown uh, River District. And I would de definitely recommend going from Edison Ford um, to have lunch in the, in, in the downtown River District. And there's also a cruise available, a river cruise available right there. Oh, uh, yeah. OK. And um, what, uh, how many days do you think uh, visitors should plan out for a stay in this area of Florida? As many as they can. <laughs> It, it's truly, it's just, um, you know, I spend a lot of my vacation time vacationing here. <laughs> it's oh, that's just, <laughs> it's really a very, very special place. Um, so what are some of the best kept secrets that agents need to know about for their clients? And then they won't be secrets anymore, but <laughs> what's a best place that you just secrets. can't miss? Um, I think I've actually touched on all of them. I think, you know, taking a, a day cruise out to Cayo Costa is just a, a really nice experience. 99% of the time, you'll have pods of dolphin jumping, following you um, in the boat. And just, you know, being able to, to see an island in its natural state without any kind of commercialism at all um, and just get away from it all. Just connect with nature. So I'd say maybe a trip to Cayo Costa either by, you know, uh, on one of the cruises available, daily cruises, or for the more adventurous to, to kayak over from uh, Pine Island. Yeah, I can tell, I've been to that area of Florida, and it's really, it's just breathtaking. It's, and it's so different from where I'm at in Miami. I mean, it's, it really is a, a world apart, that area of Florida. It, it's so beautiful, so relaxing. Yes. It's a great place. I think... We, we um, say we live in paradise. Yes, yes, I'm sure. Um, I guess we can start announcing the winners. And again, any of the questions that we haven't answered, um, you'll be contacted individually by email with those responses. Okay. And the winner of the three-day, two-night stay at the beautiful Pink Shell Beach Resort and Marina is Laura Robinson. So, Laura, if you want to uh, email me, 
um, at jhuber at legov.com. And also, uh, here's my information for any of the other agents that would like to email me with questions. Uh, that would be great. And I thank you all very much for um, joining the webinar today. And if there's something that I haven't answered, please feel free to contact me. Thank you very much, Jovina. Thank you, Paloma. Bye. Bye.